Hi, Duncan from 6.5 here. Hi, Duncan from 6.5 here. In this video, we're going to talk about a strategy to help your individual users that really have no admin rights. Uh, how we're going to get them to be able to move content from my drive into a shared drive so that it can then be refiled. Now, your end result of your shared drive migration might be uh, a single drive or a drive with all of your client information or your product pro projects, for example, uh, or maybe it's financial information, maybe it's HR information. Um, but as to the migration process, um, because everybody has things in their My Drive and you want to actually give them the ability to file that stuff and go through some housekeeping progress process in your migration, you might want to have a strategy whereby you can give them the place to drop all of that stuff into the shared drive initially, and then for that to be able to be uh, filed in a secondary, uh, a secondary step. So this is how we do that. So we end up with, uh, we plan out the end result of those shared drives, and then we create a shared drive for the user. Now this user doesn't have any special permissions inside a Google Workspace, they don't have any admin permissions, um, but we need to be able to give them somewhere where they can drop large volumes of files and folders. Now by default or shared drive, you can drag a file between places, between uh, my drive and shared drive, uh, as long as you're a content manager. You cannot migrate folders and folders with folders and folders between them and underneath them. So we're going to do two things here. We need to set up that shared drive so that the user has a manager permissions to it. And that's quite key. Obviously, with a manager permission, they can also administer the users on that shared drive. So we need to make sure that really that's the only shared drive they have that permission on. And then the second thing is we do need to give them an admin permission that isn't available in any other role without escalating them with a whole bunch of other stuff. So we're going to create a custom admin role. So this is a sample of what the user will see. So they're going to take their shared drive and they're going to try and move it into a location. And it will tell them that they don't have permission to move that, uh, that folder. Okay, But if there was, say, a Google Doc uh, in that folder, they would be able to move just that individual file, okay? So here's what we're gonna do. Um, oh, let's just, why did that not work? Let's actually create the file, put some content in it, there we go. Okay, now I can move that file, okay? See how it says, yep, cool, that's fine. And then I can move it, but I cannot move the folder. So let's do what we need to do in order to make this user have the ability to have those rights. So the first thing is we need to manage the member on that drive. So let's uh, go into admin and then we go to drive and docs to manage the drives. And we're gonna push that user up one into manager status. And as you can see, you can manage content, people and settings. So that's why we do a drive for an individual. All right, so that's the first thing. Now, the second thing is we're going to create an admin role. So obviously I'm logged in here as a super admin. You cannot do this in any other way. And what we're actually doing is we're referring to this Google Workspace help document about moving organization and content to a shared drive. And uh, if you come down here to give admin permissions to a user so they can move folders, that's what we're going to do. So in step number four here, it says create a new role and give it this name. So the name's arbitrary, but we'll follow their steps exactly. All right, there it is. And then what we're going to do is search for drive and docs in the um, drop down here and just click on that twice so it'll sort of collapse and, and open it up again and what, what we're looking for is move any file or folder into a shared drive so we'll click tick on that and it is just this one permission click create role and then it's going to say well who do we want to assign to that role so we're going to just type in our username there it is and we're going to assign the role now this user has that role so when we come back and look at this as a user now, and we go to drag our folder, as you can see, I can now drop that over onto the shared drive. It will do the tests and it will move that folder for us and migrate it. Now this folder and all the files underneath it are now owned by the organization. And that then makes it really easy for a content manager or a manager of any of these drives to then refile that and move that content into its final destination, essentially. So thanks very much for watching. If you like this video, please like and subscribe below. 
and I'd love for you to uh, join us on your journey with Google Workspace so we can help you. Download our guide, The Six Mistakes Easily Made in Google Workspace. That might derail your business and that'll give you a whole bunch of tips and tricks to make sure that you're setting up your Google Workspace appropriately. I'll see you there. Thanks for watching.